This is fact that the iPhone 12 mini was an interesting and incredibly fun, but let's be honest, we all prefer the regular iPhone 12 for some reason, but can the iPhone 13 mini make the Apple compact phone plan winner? Let's the video! This phone weighs only 141 grams and its thickness is 7.7 mm and its size is only 5.4 inches. I like the flat frame only on a small phones and the small size, light weighs and flat frame make this device super comfortable. But it also has a smaller screen that if you already have a big phone you may not like it at all especially for gaming. The back panel is made of glass and is glossy, the frame is aluminum and matte and the front panel is protected by ceramic shield glass. Its body material is very durable and high quality as expected from Apple. The iPhone 13 mini also has a waterproof and dustproof IP68 standard but not every IP68, but up to under 6 meters deep can last 30 minutes, so there is no need to worry about penetrations. The notch is now a slightly smaller but taller and still has a selfie camera, infrared sensor, face ID, color speaker, dot projector and ambient light sensor and about 85% of the front panel is the display which is still not great. The back panel is a real fingerprint magnet and gets dirty very quickly. On the back panel, there is an Apple logo and two lenses are placed diagonally with a flash in a square frame, which I will explain the reason for its new design, but this design make others know that you bought an iPhone 13. The display of the iPhone 13 mini is Super Retina XDR OLED with full HD resolution with a pixel density of 486 ppi which supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision content and it also has True Tone technology and white color gamut. The sharpness, contrast and depth of black in this display is great and True Tone technology makes the eyes less tired. The brightness of this device is 800 nits and it produces good brightness but in direct light it is only a little harder to see the content in it, but at about $700, the display is still 60Hz, which isn't too annoying because of the smooth interface, but I wish it was at least 90Hz. The iPhone 13 mini, like all new iPhones, does not have a fingerprint sensor and has a face ID, which is very very secure and fast, but it does not detect if you wear a mask. The main lens of the iPhone 13 mini is 12 megapixels and its ultrawide lens is also 12 megapixels too. The photos with the main lens have great dynamic range and sharpness and the colors are well processed. In portrait mode, the subject separates very well from the background and the background blur is done naturally. Photos in night mode are captured earlier due to the larger lens and photo noise is significantly reduced and detail and exposure increase very well in this mode. You may want to change the colors and mode of the photos which you can do this on this phone and named photographic styles, which Apple claims is not an effect but a hardware process, so it only works on the iPhone 13 series with A15 Bionic, which works really well. Ultrawide photos as always do not have a very wide viewing angle but they have low noise and a quality very close to the main lens. With the main camera you can record 4K video at 60 frames per second, the main lens also has a sensor shift stabilizer system, which was only on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and its performance is excellent. You can record videos with ProRes codec which is a very high quality format that is to be added to the phone in a software update. There is also a new cinematic feature in this phone, which is the same portrait video which has improved a lot and is now quite useful, but it reduced the video quality and is a bit weak at night. The iPhone 13 mini selfie camera is 12 megapixels too. The dynamic range of the photos is average but the face processing and sharpness of the photos are really great. With the selfie camera you can record videos at 4K 60 frames per second which is really great for a selfie camera. In terms of hardware, this phone has an A15 Bionic with a 7 core GPU, which is 1 core less than the Pro version and has 4GB of LPDDR4X RAM and is definitely one of the most powerful phones in the world, and there is no lag or slowness in it. It also heats up less than the previous generation and has really great hardware performance and stability, but for gaming, I think the screen is too much small. 
This year, the iPhone 13 mini has a base version of 128GB of memory and goes up to 512GB, which is NVMe and very fast. In terms of software, this device has iOS 15 at the time of release and has software support for up to 5 years. The software of this phone has many functionality, but its personalization features are limited. The best feature of the iPhone software, which happens to be one of the main reasons for buying them, is their excellent compatibility with the hardware that really feels. The battery of the iPhone 12 mini was the main reason for its low sales and its battery was really awful. The iPhone 13 mini 2400 mAh battery is a lithium ion type which is not as bad as the previous generation. This phone can work in semi heavy use from morning to evening without the need for a charger which is acceptable for a compact phone. But there is no charger in the box and your $700 phone become unusable after a day. Um, but outside of the joke, the iPhone 13 mini supports an 18 watt wire charger and a 15 watt MagSafe charger and it takes about an hour to fully charge it with a wire which is acceptable. The iPhone 13 mini has a stereo speaker and as expected from Apple the quality of the two speakers are really great but it does not produce much volume. Finally the iPhone 13 mini is great for those who want a $700 compact phone or want to replace their old iPhone but I do not recommend it if you have an iPhone 12 or iPhone 11. In general, in my opinion, Apple came close to its goal of producing an efficient flagship compact iPhone with this phone and in my opinion, I wish the iPhone 14 mini would be produced as well. Thanks for watching, if you like this video like it and if you like my content subscribe to my channel, goodbye see you in next video.